everybody, Joe here again. Thanks so much for popping in. Today, I thought we'd have a look at using some of our new stamps. Now, if you haven't seen them, there's lots of inspiration on social media. And what I love is we've got some smaller designs and I do listen and a lot of you like making smaller cards. So this is on a six by six square card. Whether you want to do square or oblong cards it's up to you but this is the idea I've come up with now as always I have decorated the back I just think it's lovely to have something on the back of the card and the envelope as well and I just think this lovely attention to detail we're making something let's make it really special so that the person who gets this card really knows that you've thought about them and spent time now, this is a five and a half inch piece of multi-fairies cardstock and I've just put a black line around the edge. And I want to start with this lovely tree stamp. This one is called the Tree of Spirit. And as I say, it's just such a good size. Look at this. I'm going to stamp that first and I'm just going to use my black, my VersaFine Claire, my Nocturne. And it's lovely this because what I like is we've got the, those bare branches so we can add something as we're going to today or you could leave it so it can be your tree without as they go in winter or if it's your summer you can add lush leaves and we've got lots of the mini stamps that will go well. Now I find when the new stamps I do need to make sure I've got plenty of ink on there So I'm just going to lift this up. So next I'm going to put now my idea here. In There's a new stamp set called the Coven of the Blue Moon and there's three of our sorceresses. One has a light, one has a staff and one has this, well, which is broom. But for me it's just a broom and she's sweeping up the leaves. So she doesn't have to be a witch or a sorceress. It's just a lady in a pointy hat and a long dress. <laughs> so I'm going to pop her down here. And again, she's just going to be sweeping up these leaves. And again, she's a silhouette. So we'll just give that ink time to soak in and then lift her up. Beautiful. Right, I'm just going to peel her off. Now we've got a lovely, we've got a couple of new little cats. Now this one I think is called Jinx Mini, but we've also got, I think it's Rune Mini, but do check them out. And again, perfect size for smaller cards. Tracy's been listening and when you send these ideas in, she does listen. So we'll pop our little cat, he's here. He actually wants to play in all these leaves that are going to be falling. Look at him, he's looking at her. I love the way he's looking. And they do face opposite directions, so that's good. Now, we've got our flitter mice, and I must admit, I seem to use these on every design I do at the minute. I really have got a thing about bats. And there's three, and this is the smallest one. So I'm just going to stamp him twice, and he's gonna be hanging in our lovely tree. And I'm going to pop one this side at the base. Look, look at his little feet. The detail on these stamps is just amazing. And then we're going to pop another one on this side, maybe just here. And don't forget, if you happen to miss, just use your black fine liner and either draw an extra bit of the branch. So, for example, if I'd have missed here, just going to lean on this, I could just draw a little bit of the branch and nobody would know, or just make his feet a little bit longer. Again, nobody will know. We won't tell anyone. Now, what I do want to do is stamp some leaves. So we had some new sets out a while ago. Ago, We've got, I nearly turned Cumbrian then, did you hear? I nearly said a while ago. That's from my roots in Kendall, Cumbria. So we'll edit that bit out and I'll start again. So 
a while ago in one of our recent releases, we had some new stamps. And there's the River Leaves Mini, the Forest Leaves Mini and the Silver Leaves Mini. And so I'm just going to use a combination of these just for some foliage. I'm going to have some leaves on the floor and a few on the tree. And I've got a couple of different colours of ink here that I'm going to be using. So I've got the pine cone, the portobello, but I'm going to start with some summertime just to bring in those lovely autumnal hues. Which leads me on to nicely, have you checked out this month's um, challenge autumn hues? So I think the tones on this card would be fabulous. So do check that out because... And everything's on our website. Go to the Lavinia Stamps website because, you know, the winner wins a £40 voucher to spend at Lavinia and chosen at random. So you've got as much chance of anybody else. So I've got f just a few in the orange. I don't want too much. So I'm going to come in with the Portobello now. So this will give me sort of light brown sort of tone so we'll add a few and again if you want to do first and second generation just to add another twist and I think I'll stop with that what I think I'll do is swap my stamp and come in with the pine cone just for a bit more depth so I think we'll have one just on the edge here and then we'll add a few just on the floor here where she's sweeping up and then we'll just give that a bit of a blot before we add some colour and some scenery so what I want to do now is bring in my circle mask and then a couple of my mini hill masks and I'm almost going to do these together so I'm just going to turn this to the side because I want a large sort of moon there with one of my bats in the middle and I just want this at a nice shape here maybe no oh, I like that I like that really so I think I'll do that and move it along because I like that right so I'm going to come in with the blue at all and then I'm going to add a little bit of the russet orange so what I'll do first is and I'm just going to turn this this way just because it's easier for me now I need to be mindful I don't want to take the blue too far down and again I'm starting at the bottom and I don't want to go to the edge of the card. I almost want a little bit of white around the edge. Just so it's different. I mean, some cards, obviously, I blend right to the edge. But I think it's nice to just sort of see how things look with a different sort of vibe. So if I take that off, look. Can you see we've got a little bit of white space around it? So hence, I'm going to bring this in. And I want that to mimic that shape. No, I definitely like that there. So I'm just going to come in with the blue. Do that to there. And then I think I'll take that shape. And again, I'm not going right to the edge, just stop in there. Yep, like that. So I'm going to bring in my russet orange now. Now this mine is a real bright russet orange and you'll know the depth of your colour so I really need to blend this well in the lid. Now I just want a little bit here. So I'm just going to clean my mask, put that back on. Because mine's such a strong colour, I need to take a little bit off on here. And then very gently, I just want to tickle this guy. And it's just to almost warm it up. Now, I know blue and orange, it's going to give me greeny tones. But it's sort of a an orangey brown green. And I'm just going to do it in the middle look. And I just like the way that just gives it a different colour tone. Just play around with your colours. It's so nice. 
Right, so we'll add some Bermuda now, and this is my green, and I'm just going to come in and just add a little bit here to take the whiteness off. Now, if I bring that up, can you see I've not overcooked it? Now, bear in mind, colours don't show up on here, but I do want some depth at the base. So, in with my mini hill mask, and I'll just come in under the tree and then under our sorceress and right across the bottom. Again, just to give a little bit of now, I like that. But what I will do is bring in, I'm not going to add any more orange to my brush, but just slightly tickle over that green. Again, just to almost add an orange hue. So I don't want it to almost look orange. I just want it to be a bit of a reflection from the sky with the tone rather than the colour, if that makes sense. Can you see how that's just blended to give that sort of vibe now what i want to do is add my lovely so i've got the leaves here and in my head she's blow the leaves have blown down and she's sweeping them up now we've got this lovely new stamp called magical mist and i think this makes fabulous for me it looks like the wind's blowing so we're going to come in with the VersaFine Claire, the Sand Dune. It's a nice light colour. And this is going to be my mystical, my wind, blowing the leaves off the trees. And I think we'll just have another one round there. Now again, you can do first and second generation. And I think I just want one possibly down here around her and the cat look so it looks as though maybe just a little bit there just the edge of it catching here I want to make sure I don't stamp it the same way so we've got that movement now I'm going to add a little bit of colour but while I do I'll just add some water just to do a little bit of faux bleaching in these parts just where we've got that element sink and that'll just faux bleach while we add our other bits now I've got some of my pencils here so I'm just going to add a little bit of orange and I was looking for the number then and that's number five and number 20 so just a little bit of orange and brown just on here look there we go and then what i'm going to do is just get my pastel pencils she says if i can get some room and with the white we'll just come in and add a little bit of pastel a little bit of highlight on the bat and on the tree just down this side and where I just want to make almost the shape of so I'm just putting a few lines in the direction that the tree to almost make it look like it's got more shape so maybe in the back just down there and again I'm just giving it a bit of a bit of a block with my finger does two things it will help set it I don't need to use um, a spray adhesive I've said this before spray fixative because I'm not using a lot of pastel if the whole project was pastel I would have to fix it but just by giving it a little rub with my finger it just fixes it but also just makes it more fuzzy and I like that look happy with that but what I am going to do is come in with my orange pastel pencil and just add down this side of the tree just to bring in again those lovely autumn hues and again you notice I'm using a different finger that was my white blender this is my orange and just on a hat look and just down the back of here and a little bit on my tabby cat so he's a nice orange so can you see we've just introduced carrying on with those lovely autumn 
hues. So while we've got our pastel pencils, let's just do a little bit of grounding and a little bit of shadow. So again, her shadow, she'll be casting it that way. Just at the base here. Again, just filling in that little bit of space. Just under these leaves and round these leaves. Right, I'm going to pop those on the floor next to Eric because I've run out of room on my table. But what I do want to use is in my Signo, my metallic gem, gel pens, I've got a green. And actually, I think it almost brings in these tones here. So I'm just going to get a piece of kitchen roll and dry those water splats now. Lovely. And then this, we've got some lovely space on a hat look, just the trim. And then the same on a broom because obviously she matches. We like cohesive, don't we? So everything matches. We'll put a little collar on our cat here. And then our hanging bats can have the same colour eyes. And then it all matches beautifully. Now with, I'm just going to lean on the floor, but I want my white pastel pencil back. Because where I've got these lovely swirls of the wind, I'm just going to add some white pastel and it just makes it look. Now you can use your pan pastel for this. And again, it just adds to that movement, that lovely swirling. Now, when I was thinking about this design, I just kept thinking of, of the words, the wind blows cold, and I couldn't think where I'd got that from. And when I looked, one of the sentiments we've got called snow falls starts off with the wind blows cold and the air is freezing. And then it goes, the snow falls down whilst the animals are sleeping, etc. So what I tend to do is stamp the whole thing out and just cut out the part I need. Now, I am that sad crafter, I will keep this because I might just need an odd little word from this. See, bare trees stand tall. Now, I could actually cut that out and I think if I stamped this and there's a smaller version, I could use that, bare trees stand tall. So I'm going to keep that because that, that's a very good idea. So whoever suggested that, thank you very much. So before I put that on, I'm going to add some of my Posca. And this is the sparkly yellow. Just around those leaves and where the wind is, look. So where that wind's blowing, round the leaves. Round the wind. And then the leaves on the floor. And I love this yellow sparkle, in case you couldn't tell. A little bit at the base of the tree. And just over those leaves. Yeah, but if I lift that up, we've still got the white space here, look. So it's nice that we've still got some lovely white space. So I'm going to get my sentiment and some bippity boppity glue. Thanks Kev for that name. Lavinia glue would be much easier to say, but I get you. And I'm thinking we're just going to add this here, look. The wind blows cold because, my goodness, that is blowing there. And we'll get rid of this. And there's the finished design that we've created today. And as always, all the items we've used are going to be listed below. And they're all on the website. Any problems, just let us know. And we've got our lovely envelope to match, which I'll pop under there. And don't forget a little design on the back. Now, it could be, that could be a design for another card. And you could stamp the whole sentiment. Again, lots of possibilities. 
and this would look fabulous in the dome. I'm just saying, what about making an autumn dome and then entering it into the challenge? Use your sticker stencil. Again, oh, I can't wait to see what you do. This is just a little taster so that you can, honestly, I know you lot, you're so clever. You'll come up with so many ideas. So thanks as always for popping in. You take very good care of yourselves and I'll see you again soon. Love and hugs from me. Bye for now.